In today's video, I'll teach you one of the most useful things in video editing how to use keyframes, or in simpler terms, how to apply effects like zoom in or zoom out, and how to animate text and objects on the screen. Before we start though, it would be amazing if you could hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials about Flixier. The best thing about this tutorial is that you won't have to download or install anything to your computer, since we'll be using Flixier, everything is going to be done in the browser and then processed in the cloud. What this means is that you'll be able to enjoy a fast and smooth video editing experience even if your computer is a little bit old for regular video editing software. Now, the first step is to look up Flixier on Google, visit the first link and then click on Get Started. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. Flixier offers both a free version and a paid one, with the paid option giving you access to things like AI-powered audio enhancements or free subtitle generation. Now that you've got everything set up, let me show you the easiest way to create a zoom in and zoom out effect using Flixier. First, you need to upload your video to Flixier. To do that, you can drag and drop it from your device, or you can use any of the various import options such as Google Drive, Google Photos, or Twitch. You can even copy and paste the link to bring it over using the link option. If you don't have a video yet, you can open the stock tab to find free stock videos you can practice on. The easiest way to add a zoom in or zoom out effect is to use a preset. To do that, make sure your video is on the timeline at the bottom of the screen, then drag the playhead to where you want your animation to end. Then, head to the Animation tab on the right side of the screen and choose the Scale Up or Scale Down effect. The Scale Up effect will make it look like the camera is zooming in on part of your video, while the Scale Down effect will make it look like it's zooming out. If you want to have more control over your animation, you can create your own effect from scratch using keyframes. To do that, go to the part where you want to zoom in on your video, right-click on it and select Add Keyframe or press K on your keyboard. You now have two keyframes, one where your playhead is and one before it. With your second keyframe selected, you can resize your footage and reframe it to zoom in or out depending on the effect that you're trying to achieve. Now, you'll notice that our effect still looks kind of boring and linear. If you click on the first keyframe and head to the easing tab on the right, we'll be able to make things look a lot more dynamic and interesting. For example, switching the easing value to power will make your animation faster at the start or towards the end depending on whether you chose the in or out option on the right. Meanwhile, the slow easing will be a lot slower and a lot smoother. If you're curious to learn more about what each easing value looks like, you can click on the free buttons to the right to check out the pattern for every easing value. Lastly, if you have a lot of keyframes in a video, you can use these buttons here to quickly navigate from one to the next. The keyframes can be pretty tiny, so this is a lot easier than trying to select them manually. If you want to start over from the beginning, you can also delete all keyframes from a clip by clicking the Clear All Keyframes button. You can also move keyframes around the clip easily by dragging them around with the left mouse button so your animations start and end exactly where you want them to. Now let me show you how you can use keyframes to make text appear on screen. Animating text with keyframes is pretty straightforward, it's basically the same as what we've looked at before. First, we need to add some text. To do that, we'll open the text tab from the menu on the left side. After you do that, you'll see that there are various preset textiles for you to choose from. We'll choose a textile which we can then customize to our liking using this menu on the right side. We can change the font, size, stroke, shadow and more. Now that you have your text, head to where you want your animation to end and press the K button. Two keyframes will be created. With the second keyframe selected, position your text where you want it to be at the end of your animation. Then, select the first keyframe and move your text to the starting point of your animation. I want my text to come in from the left side, so I'm going to drag it all the way to the left. You can also play around with the perspective sliders here on the right to make a more engaging animation. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make text appear on screen with Flixier. But now that you've learned how to make it appear on screen, let me show you how you can animate the actual text. You've got several options for animating your text. The first and easiest one is to use a transition. To do this, you need to select your text on the timeline, then on the right side under Text Properties, choose a transition that suits the video. On the timeline, you can adjust the duration of the transition by dragging it forwards and backwards, or you can choose how many seconds you want it to last from the Text Properties area. The second one would be to use the Motion Graphics tab where you'll find a variety of animated text. These range from simple titles and lower thirds to social media animations such as like and subscribe buttons. However, if you want full control, it's always better to use the Animations tab or create your own animations using keyframes like I've showed you today. That's it for today's tutorial. Since we always try to bring you as much value as possible, it would be great if you could leave us a comment telling us what you want to learn about next. 
and if you haven't tried Flixir yet, you can do so for free using the link in the description. Until next time, happy editing!